It's your girl Ash and I am back back with another video and today I'm going to be reacting to Out of Context by Salmonella Academy Part 2. If you guys would like to check out my other Salmonella reactions, the link will be up at the top. We already know Sam is extremely funny and very informative. I love Sam. I love his sense of humor. I just love that he drops knowledge and... You just have so much fun and you just laugh while learning about things that you just never knew about. If you guys haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that red button so you can be a part of the family. Don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Enough of me talking. Let's get straight into this reaction. Today's video has been sponsored by Ragu Brand Pasta Sauce. Ragu? Like the taste of pureed infants? Then I like you'll Ragu. Love Ragu Pasta Sauce. Dis disappointed Tom presents. Cut to a pack of young hooligans looking for something to do besides bootlegging and getting. Wait! He didn't say, hey kids. I love when he say, hey kids. Or maybe he's gonna say it in a little while. But that's my favorite part. And polio. So next time one of your superiors uses the words mumbo jumbo in a jocular fashion, remember to report them to HR for promoting African <laughs> wife beating. Well, it's completely blue and it doesn't really want to move at all, but it's got a really fast heartbeat and it's screaming really loudly. I'd give this baby like a 6 out of 10. That's good enough. Now the crowd at this kind of event was mainly composed of dirty bloodthirsty peasants. And even they were like, holy shit, this is messed up. I came here for a nice family friendly disemboweling or two, but this, just deplorable. You finish chopping your jalapenos and then you go touching your jalapenos. It's not gonna kill you or nothing, but it's gonna mess your day up for sure. He didn't- What is wrong with Sam? I'm not gonna lie. I think I've touched something. I don't know if it was like a jalapeno. I don't know what it was, but it was hot. No, I didn't touch my vagina area. But I think I like touched my lip or something like that. Or like my eye and it was just like burning. But if you ever touched your vagina or, or penis. Why you still had jalapenos, the juices on your hands, comment down below and let me know. <laughs> Say what they did with it after. I'm picturing his dog just running over and immediately scarfing it and down it. then being plagued with the memories of a human railroad worker for the rest of his life. <laughs> Alright, hold him still now. Oh, you fucking milf. Lefty Lucy. <laughs> Does that mean the top or the bottom? D what? It's a rotating circle. And, okay, you hold on for one sec. Look, one way the top goes left, one way the bottom. So which? D clearly the one on top. Why? Tell me why. Why clearly? Same reason north is up on the map. It's just common practice. <laughs> All right, well, sorry for not subscribing to your Eurocentric propaganda, Dan, you soggy cunt. He anyway, what were we cut. doing? When Greg woke up, he found that his legs looked like used up tubes of toothpaste. It's common knowledge that if you hold any healthy baby by its feet and then drop it, it'll always land up right. If your baby what? can't do that, that's a... Like, back then? Not now. You will go to jail if you drop a baby. I can't picture a baby just turning around. Like. No. the ba How would the baby know? Now, the baby know a baby knows how to float automatically when you throw them in the water because they were in the womb. So, they know how to float naturally in the water. But dropping a baby in the reflexes, which is order. Sam, comment down below, guys, and let me know. I'm going to have to look that up after this video. I don't think you should be dropping. Don't try that at home. 
a sure sign that it's defective. In those days, you couldn't just snap into a Slim Jim. That's a modern luxury that we take for granted. Back then, the slogan was, gnaw on a Slim Jim for minutes on end, grinding it between your molars while the gallons of salt turn your mouth into a desert until the mangled hunk of flesh in your mouth is just soft enough to be shoved down your greasy oh fucking God. pirate throat without tearing a hole. On the left, we have a healthy potato, while on the right, we have a blighty one. Notice how this one is noble and robust, like a lion's heart, while the other is shriveled and black like Betsy DeVos's uterus. This next one is called, get ready, broom rape. That's like Boy. kicking someone in the dick and being like, whoa, bro, you just got feathered. Fuck you, don't try to downplay my suffering. If anything, I got shin bashed in the dick. <laughs> is blackened oh my gosh bag that's the proper level of vulgarity relative to the situation now i've only been around two vaginas in my life i came out of one of them when i was born and i spent most of my time around the other one with my eyes closed <laughs> i'll be fine if anybody tries intimidating me i can get out of it with my quick wit and charming personality boy you look real pretty from behind <laughs> oh wow I'm boned. Then when the race starts, instead of running straight ahead like a normal person, the horse would run into the crowd and drop kick a grandma or whatever. Unlike me, this diamond isn't just a big white waste of space. Alright, honeybee. Ow, god, that hurt. I'll give that like a two. Next, paper wasp. Okay, that's like a three. Next, let's try bullet ant. Jesus Christ, Mary Mother of Satan's left nipple. It's like my hand is made entirely out of urethras, and each and every one is having a red-hot catheter put in and ripped out five times every second. My very being is on fire. My only desire left is for death himself to bless me with sweet relief. I'll give that a four. <laughs> no four plus this is the spot for any extra warnings you need to know about most of them are pretty self-explanatory like radiation or biohazard or gaze that's what we should do for the next super bowl halftime show honestly just pack every team's mascot into a decommissioned submarine then when they all run out we have the troops gun them down while the national no. anthem plays in the background but i guess shiva gotama christ chan the one true god decided Gage still had unfinished business down here on Shit Outta Luck 3. And just when things looked like they couldn't get any worse, they got worse. I guess you could say he just really gave a schmidt. No, 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 no. A is for abnormality. If your baby seems what? weird, that's typically a good indicator that it's weird. If you see this one, it means white people aren't allowed to touch the material. Huh, <laughs> just kidding. White people are allowed to do whatever they want. <laughs> Hi, this went through my brain. Bye. Also, some people say that alcoholism is a disease. I might just be disturbed, but that's one sickness I could definitely get down with. Nice segue, Sam. I love Thanks, that. Sam. The elephant's one. Ah! G still stands for grimace, just like in the what? Apgar test. Only, instead of looking at the baby's facial expression, you just bring grimace from McDonald's into the room and see how the baby reacts. If it starts crying, well, no. that's a good sign, because grimace is absolutely fucking terrible. Sometimes babies just aren't scared of certain things like some babies would definitely look at something like what is that i'm not scared of that not all babies cry when they see weird looking things terrifying at some point every kid has dreamed about being a swashbuckle and corn shuckle and wife cuckle and no. cocksuckle and pirate once no hey remember that time i've never thought about being a pirate sam ever well no there was this movie called pippi longstock and i think there was a pirate in there and the pirate seemed cool or something like that and i think i wanted to be friends with that pirate that was in that movie but no, I never wanted to be a pirate. Ever. Being a pirate never seemed like it could have been fun. Just out in the sea, the ocean, on a boat. Nope, that doesn't look like fun. Never wanted to be it. Four billion giant things died inexplicably? I'm sorry, Sam, but... You have urethra cactus. I urethra would just end it cactus. right there. Doesn't even matter what the actual symptoms are. There's a few different ways you can pronounce it, depending on your social standing, ranging from Erga? ergit to Ergit. Ergo. 
Being the disheveled pauper I am, I prefer Urgit. Rolls off the tongue, you know. And just as Greg Rasmussen banged on his destroyed plane to ward off predators in Zimbabwe, you should bang on your keyboard right now to ward off predators online. <laughs> and finally, you was for ugliness. ugliness, just because that might sway your decision on whether or not you want to keep it. When his brain remembered, oh yeah, I shouldn't exist, <laughs> leading to Gage having a bunch of seizures and dying at age 36. Why worry about four billion dumb smelly old trees when there's a thousand whole pandas that need our help? Isn't that right, WWF? You populist scum. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm leaner than lean. <laughs> what the fuck is so exciting about this? Now, if the baby <laughs> passes the test, it gets to go home. But if it fails, then it gets shipped off to the factory and made into ragu, hence the name of the test. Some people might be upset by this fact, but you know what they say. Pray go today, ragu tomorrow. If your pussy has oh! quarters, you should probably... <laughs> That was so dope. That was like, that was in battle rap, that would be considered a bar. Like, that was so dope. Let me run that back. Let me run that back. Let me run that back. That was so dope. Prego, ragu. What the fuck is so exciting about this? Now, if the baby <laughs> passes the test, it gets to go home. But if it fails, then it gets shipped off to the factory and made into ragu. Hence the name of the and test. Say baby Some style. people might be upset by this fact, but you know what they say. Prego today. Ragu tomorrow. <laughs> if your pussy has corners, you should probably start taking the tampons out of the container before. What? Where you put them in. So a medieval peasant would be sitting there eating a nice loaf of rye bread, just minding his own business. Then all of a sudden, holy shit, I'm blasting out of both ends. My what? heart's a season, my lungs a wheezing, the fucking walls are melting. I can hear Satan's voice. He's telling me to invest in Apple. What does that mean? Why does he want me to buy apples? Moral of the story, kids, don't eat strange bread. Oh you my could trip God. balls and die. Anyway, that's all for today. Till next time, I'm Salmonella, and thank you for watching. Bruh. That was hilarious. Look, Sam is crazy. Sam is crazy. Don't be out there dropping babies. <laughs> don't be out there dropping babies. Make sure y'all wash your hands after you touch the jalapenos because I don't want your, you know, private parts to be burning. And my vagina don't have corner Sam. Oh my god, Sam is crazy. I love this is why I love Sam. I love his sense of humor. He just has so much fun. He's just a dope, dope, dope um person. And I wish he upload more, man. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Give your girl a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, fam.